Hey, Ken Smith here, and you're watching Transforming Lives. Read to you a Bible verse out of the Old Testament, book of Daniel. In Daniel chapter 3, starting with verse 17, it says, If it be so, our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning, fiery furnace, and he will deliver us out of thy hand, O king. But if not... Be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thou gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Now the context of the scripture is that Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego have been commanded to fall down and worship like everyone else in this providence of Babylon, to fall down and worship the golden image that King Nebuchadnezzar has established, has set up. But they refuse to do so. And because they refuse to do so, then they are told that they will be thrown into a fiery furnace. But you see, these three Hebrew faithful children have decided in their heart that they would not bend the word of God. That they would not bend their faith. That they would not do anything that would bring reproach upon God himself. And so they're bold enough to tell the king that, King, we're not going to do this. That God will deliver us. But did you notice in that one verse that it said, but even if God does not deliver us, we will still be faithful unto him. You know, friends, many times we are faithful to God when all things are good. As long as God's pouring out his blessings upon us, as long as we have a job, as long as the children are staying out of the trouble, the car's got a full tank of gas, when we're able to praise God in the daytime and in the night. But what about when things go bad, when it seems like all that we have seems to be falling apart? You see, Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, they had decided in their heart that no matter if things were good or bad, that they were going to stay faithful to the Lord. But they said, even if God did not deliver us, we would still be faithful to Him. That's the attitude that you and I should have as Christians, that we are going to be faithful to the Word of God, faithful to Him, even when things do not appear to be going our way. God many times answer our prayer three different ways. He'll say yes and grant us our prayer right then and there. Sometimes He'll grant our prayer and say no. And in other times, our prayers are answered by simply saying wait. That's the hardest time in our life is waiting. But while we're waiting, understand this, God is faithful. And no matter what he does, no matter if he heals us of our cancer, no matter if we win uh, some kind of lottery and we become rich and famous, no matter what happens, that we know that God is faithful and God is just and that everything that happens in our lives, God can use for his glory. So stay faithful to him at all times. Find out more about Lillington Baptist Church and the ministry that we're doing with Transforming Lives, these video ministries here on YouTube by visiting LillingtonBaptist.com. This is Pastor Ken Smith, and you've been watching Transforming Lives.